moisture systems will move in. Plus, we'll have an increase in the moisture over the weekend, which will help to fuel those scattered showers and maybe a stronger system later on Sunday that can bring up our rain chances even more. So overall this weekend, I do think there's more support for showers, a little bit more thunderstorm activity once the stronger lows start to get close on Sunday and Monday. And then we may just have that cycle repeat itself later next week as well. But let's focus in the here and now clear tonight, clear through sunrise. And then as our winds start to become more out of the southeast, we'll bring in the moisture that supports more clouds. So we'll just call it partly cloudy, maybe partly sunny. You may have times where the clouds will cast a lot of shade across the landscape. But over the weekend is when we'll start to throw in these systems. A weak front will start to approach the tri-state on Saturday, but out ahead of that front is where we could see some developing showers or a couple thunderstorms. And with more moisture and a slightly warmer setup in the atmosphere, uh, an isolated case of a strong storm cannot be ruled out. I don't think it'll be a widespread issue on Saturday, and you may still have at least some periods of time in the afternoon where it's not raining. It's kind of the come and go variety of showers. Another batch starts to move in based on the forecast and focus on Sunday morning, and then that will be followed by perhaps this stronger low that will swing out of the southern plains, enter the deep south on Sunday evening, and likely generating more strong thunderstorms in sections of the deep south with another trailing front into Monday. So that's going to be the period of time where we have to really focus our attention for maybe another round of active thunderstorms, maybe more of a strong wind gust threat this time rather than those uh, dozens of tornadoes that occurred in the deep south. But nonetheless, this still could be an impactful system for several deep south states and perhaps even an impact across here in the state line region where already the expectation for at least a few severe thunderstorms is being highlighted into the late Sunday night and Monday time frame. So it's Thursday. We still have several days of analysis to go through with that, but just keep in the back of your mind the first alert for Sunday and Monday.